episode of Read a Book a Week by Jackie TV. We are coming your way in this episode with five, 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 five lessons from the book The Power of Positive Thinking by Vincent Norman Pell. I say it again, The Power of Positive Thinking by Vincent Norman Pell. Now here are the lessons. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like and share. God bless you. Now the lessons. Lesson number one, believe in yourself. Have faith in your own abilities. Without a humble but reasonable confidence in your own powers, you cannot be successful or happy. But with sound self-confidence, you can succeed. A sense of inferiority and inadequacy interferes with the attainment of your hopes. But self-confidence leads to self-realization and successful achievement. Lesson number two, develop a peaceful mind because a peaceful mind generates power. A primary method of gaining a mind full of peace is to practice emptying the mind. Practice emptying your mind of fears, is insecurity, regrets, and guilt feelings. These are all negative thoughts that you need to get rid of them. It is recommended to empty your mind twice in a day or more if necessary. Of course, empty the mind is not enough. When the mind is empty, something new, something fresh, and something positive should enter. It is therefore imperative to fill your mind with creative and healthy thoughts. Practice the technique of suggestive articulation. That is, repeat audibly some peaceful words like love, peace, win, favor, and grace. Words have profound suggestive power and there is healing in the very saying of them. Therefore, if you speak peaceful, quieting words, your mind will react in a peaceful manner. Lesson number three, have constant energy, constant non-diminishing energy. And to do that, you must get your emotional force corrected. You will never have full energy. Why? The late Kenny Rockney, one of the greatest football coaches said, a football player cannot have sufficient energy unless his emotions are under spiritual control. Get your emotions under the control of God because that will give you constant energy. In fact, he went on so far to say that he would not have a man on his team who did not have a genuine, friendly feeling for every fellow player. Lesson number four, try prayer power. Yes, prayer. Prayer power has the ability to normalize the aging process, obviate and also limit the infirmity and deterioration in your body. You need not to lose your basic energy or vital power or become weak and listless merely as a result of accumulating years. It is not necessary to allow your spirit to save or grow still or dull. Prayer can refresh you up every evening and send you out on renewed energy each morning. You can receive guidance in problems if you pray. A prayer has the power to penetrate your subconsciousness and yes, that's where your forces that accumulate to control you are. Prayer driven deeply into your subconsciousness can remake you. Therefore, try prayer power. Create your own happiness. Yes, you can be happy by making yourself happy. The happiness habit is developed by simply practicing happy thinking. Make a mental list of happy thoughts and pass them through your mind several times each day. If an unhappiness thought should enter your mind, immediately stop. Consciously reject them and substitute them with a happy thought. Every morning before arising, lie relaxed in your bed and deliberately drop happy thoughts into your subconscious mind. And that is the way to be happy every day. I'm happy! Thank you very much for watching this episode of Read a Book a Week. We know your life has been blessed by reading the books that we have been providing you. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel, like and then share. 
Next week, we'll be bringing you a book from Reverend Kenneth Hagan titled The Believer's Authority. We provided a link to the soft copy of the book. Make sure that you go and read it as next week we bring you this book's lesson. Thank you very much and see you next week. Bye bye.